All right, guys, welcome back to uh, Dynasty Warriors 7, uh, part 6. It will be on the Battle of Shenye. Let's do this. Continue story of Shu. Let's do this, guys. Resume the game from where you last saved. Yes. Hugh Bay, a man for whom reality fell far short of his idealistic dreams. He desperately sought an answer to his problems. After Liu Bei fled to Jing, Liu Biao granted him the land of Xinye. For the first time since the chaos had begun, he finally had a place to call home. And there, Liu Bei quietly ruminated on his ambitions. His dream of helping to ease the people's suffering, the cruel reality that he had not accomplished nearly enough. He needed someone who could provide him with a way to turn his dream into a reality. The province of Jing, being located in the center of the land, was bustling with travelers coming and going. Despite its vibrancy, Liu Bei would not easily find Why his answer there. there. Then, suddenly, Liu Bei's days of peaceful reflection came to a, a crash end. His rude awakening came in the hands of Cao Cao, who is practical to the point of cruelty and has no qualms about using the power to take what he wanted. Zhang Fei and his allies, Liu Bei stood before the encroaching threat of Cao Cao's army. Would his ideals be swallowed the death of Cao Cao's ambition, guys? I don't know. Mighty armies now encroach upon Jing province. Cao Cao's methods are heartless and cruel. But what should I do? Maybe you're overthinking things. <laughs> to do things your own way. You'll always have us on your side. Interesting. If he had the sleeping dragon in his ranks, Liu Bei would be unstoppable. And who are you? Yeah, who are you? Well, Shushu, huh? Who the hell are you? <laughs> I will get to that eventually. But, but first, first, we, we must, must defeat South South. 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 Oh, yeah. Well, that goes without, without saying. But why are you the only one giving me orders? Shu Shu is, is a talented strategist. strategist. He, he is certain to assist, assist our Lord's purpose. Hmm. hmm. I wonder. My Lord, it's me. I've, I've been promoted to Captain. <laughs> and have you met my oh, wife? She's, She's just, just over there. there. Cheer up, my lord. It'll be helping for you, too. Is Cao Cao the one destined, destined to rule the, the land? Time? If so, then and I fear this chaos will never come to an end. end. However, I possess, possess not the strength, strength to oppose him. This is my chance, chance yet I am unable to take, to take advantage of it. it. Is this as far as I am fated to come? come? No. Bro brother. Brother. Who is that Shushu? I mean, he seems he trustworthy. Just what is Lord Shushu doing, doing here? What's he up to? to? Until Cao That's Cao how he's gone. gone. Our, Our Lord will never know the peace of land. Lord Guan Yu's back, but now, now he's on this woods in his mind. We all love and respect Lord, Lord Liu Bei. So, so why can't we do, do anything to help him? My lord, is it true that he wants to stop him from refusing a drink? Uh, no, well, I'm, I'm sure, sure you were right to do it. Wait, Sao Bao? The people love Zor Liu Bei, but that's, well, that's all, all he has. I've been thinking about it for ages, and I, I just don't know what we, we should do it. next. I don't know why my dog's barking out there. <laughs> Sorry, guys. If 
you're feeling down, you can always try, try a, a new weapon. weapon. Slice away the, the gloom and all that. that. Okay. Uh, let's check this. Let's uh, check our uh, school. Okay. That's it. All right then. Let's go and do this. I'll, I'll pull through the army, army by myself if I have to. Understood. Our enemy is Tau Tau. A frontal assault is too dangerous. We will divide into three units. Is John Fade to the center? And so am I. It doesn't even mean, mean I trust you, okay? Yeah. Come here, bitch! Hey, you done. Our reinforcements have arrived. Oh no! Base formation. I recognize it. Okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Me too. So how I'm come you're you helping us anyway? But it's you, babe, and you really are to me. That is all. Now that's how it's done. You inspire us all. Uh, where are you going? Where are you going, enemy commander? You may have won the first one, but the battle is not over yet. Make yourself oh, it's over. Over, 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 and over. Ooh, you're about to be done. Come here! Oh, come on, really? Give me that. Come on! Yeah! This is thanks to Shu Shu, to the power of intelligence. If you say so. My role here is 
his home. But why? Why won't you stay as our strategist? Juga Limang is a reclusive genius. He has the ability to see the bigger picture. I am a mere amateur beside him. You must secure his cooperation. cleverly directed the bravery of Zhang Fei and the others and successfully repelled Cao Cao's army. It was he who recommended to Liu Bei the land's most brilliant strategist, Zhuge Liang. Liu Bei believed he had finally found the man he had long been searching for. However, despite paying two visits to Zhuge Liang's home, he still had been unable to meet him. Zhang Fei and Guan Yu were deeply offended, but Liu Bei we'll continued on, on paying yet another, another visit to the, to the home. home. For if it would help him save the people, he would pay as many visits as it took. And so, it was then that Liu Bei finally found his answer. This is your third visit. What is it that you want so badly from? I wish to benefit from your wisdom. Tell me what must be done. I know what I want to do. I want to ease the people's suffering. But... But you save one person. And it just brings suffering to another. What should I do? <laughs> Benevolence is a tricky thing. means valuing the feelings of the people over efficiency or profit. Cao Cao's way is to seize control of the land through brute force. While your path leads the people to a land of benevolence. Your path is that of a true leader of men. But to make it more than just a dream. You must have the courage to unite the land. I fear I am incapable. My lord, if you truly want to make it happen, then listen, or I can help you. A world of virtue ruled by righteousness. That was the goal that Juga Liang put before Liu Bei. However, with his current strength, such a world was but a far-off dream.
His weakness was underscored by the fact that Cao Cao's army had once again launched an attack on the province of Jing. Although Zhuge Liang's clever tactics allowed them to avoid catastrophe, Liu Bei's future seemed grim indeed. Following Liu Biao's death, his successor Liu Song surrendered to Cao Cao. With nothing left to fight for, Liu Bei fled from Cao Cao's army and headed south. Time was of the essence, but something was slowing down the pace of his army's march. The reason? Liu Bei had taken all of the people from Jing with him. His virtue served as a beacon for the downtrodden. And Liu Bei too refused to give up on his comrades, who dreamed like he did of a world of peace. Slowed down by the people, Liu Bei's army was finally caught by Cao Cao at Chang'an. Was the world of virtue destined to end as a dream before the overwhelming might of Cao Cao's army? No. Liu Bei and Zhao Yun, as well as the people they themselves, were about, were about to be tested. Alright guys, thank you for watching, I'll see you guys next time.